Hello and welcome back to the Darkest Dungeon, wherein we have a missing Mr. Steve because he has been interred for all eternity. Uh, we have not very much money. We have fewer and fewer people who are actually capable of doing anything. And several bosses to beat, despite the fact that we don't have anybody who I'm happy to actually beat them with. On the plus side, Marie is now available, which means I'm actually not completely against the idea of trying to do the Cove mission. Because Marie can help us with both of those. Ed is still alive against all odds. The only problem is we don't have a healer, except Zeke. Holmesy and Zeke are now sort of both kind of stressed out. Um, but Holmesy is more recently stressed out. But only has rabies. And also just generally more stressed. Taking a level 3 healer on the level 3 mission seems like a good idea. Like, it's a level 3 boss. So a level 3 healer with, with those extra setup, that extra uh, upgrade that we just gave him could work. But we can't really afford to upgrade everybody, upgrade everybody else, which is what is really <laughs> worrying me in this whole situation. Because if we take... Uh, uh, no. We are going to the cove. If we take Ed, Marie, Marie goes to the back or the yeah back or third, and Zeke. We need somebody for the second position. Trouble is, the only person we've got. I mean, Snowland here is a third or fourth position person, which means Marie doesn't get to use the most important things, which are battlefield medicine and the play grades. So Marie has to be here, or do you see? Snowland has to be at the back. Maybe we take Doug here as, like, the first unit. That doesn't actually seem that bad an idea now I think about it. The bleed skill is super good. We've got both of them. If it bleeds, is really, like, one of my favourite attacks of the whole game. It just does a great amount of damage, plus a bleed. And then we've got Iron Swan to hit anything at the back. We've got bleed out, which we could replace with Barbaric Yelp. Which does debuff us, but... So, now these are all level 3 um, skills, and we really, really can't afford to do anything other than take a level 3 skill, but we have to succeed at one of these, and, you know, we have a limited number of people we can take. We have a limited number of places we can go, so we can't really upgrade anybody else. We have a limited amount of money. We have a limited amount of even these, so that we can't upgrade anything to help us. Um, and, of course... In the previous episode, we had this event, which I was not showing up, where the Houndmasters will all gain a level if we don't do anything with them, which is what I'm assuming is going to happen. This could be one of our better setups for dealing with a cove. And I think it's just about time that we got something right. And these are the only people who are in any position to go anywhere. And if nothing else, people start dying. <laughs> and when people start dying, we start replacing them with level 1 people. And when we replace them with level 1 people, we can actually take the level 1 people out and start doing easy missions again to get some morale back and to get some new people leveled up. So, what are we going to do here? In the cove, do you know what? Let's do the old-fashioned Northern Lion thing. We will tab out to Chrome, and we will go to the Darkest Dungeon Wiki. We'll tap in Cove. We'll make sure that we're not doing anything stupid. So, we're going to have a look to see what type of things there are. Eldritch, Unholy... And then the humans that can appear anywhere. Yeah, it's basically eldritch and unholy things in the cove itself. Mostly eldritch, but we only have one eldritch trinket. Which I think we give to the Hellion. And also a bleed stone, maybe. Yes. Bleed chance and the damage to Eldritch. Where are you? We're going to do this right if we're going to do it at all. You are basically the tank, but you're probably not going to take all that much damage. We're not really using the tank as something that will focus attacks upon it, because although Ed and you know the late Mr. Steve had the, the skill that would put a mark on themselves and give them extra protection, the enemies were not being baited by the mark, so it doesn't actually make that much difference altogether. So what we really want to do is just try and improve ourselves against 
Uh, protect less dodge and then take a protection stone. We're gonna protect ourselves, basically. But plus five percent pro is like fuck all, right? Am I wrong about this? We're currently on zero percent, and yet we've got all that armor. It's silly. It's the same as that. Less crit instead of less speed. I mean, great. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. What? What? Deadly. Cool. You will get both of these. Oh, apparently I managed to accidentally. I don't know. Now, Marie. I don't want to remove any of those. What do we have here? Disease resist, not ideal. Stun skill, maybe. Accuracy, could be. We don't have any more damage versus Eldritch. More speed might be helpful. More heals received. Maybe we put that on... Um, uh, is, is better heals received a better buff than a shit amount of protection? 5% protection. Why have you not got protection on your armor? Doesn't make sense. Have you just got shit armor? You've got level 3. What's the matter with you? Whatever. Uh, Marie. Please don't die. <laughs> I'm tired of the people that I've named things for suddenly being kicked out of the game by the game's own machinations. More heal skills. No. Bleed skill? We're using blight. Let's, let's try a blight skill chance. Just more blight. We have one of those, right? Sure. Yeah. And maybe then the speed stone anyway to sort of get over that, but then we've got minus four speed the rest of the time. Hmm. Let's bleed resist for more blight resist. And more blight skill. Yeah, sure. Let's just crank up that blight skill chance that we've got a massive amount of blight on all of these bastards. And we're going for the boss. Scared of it. <laughs> We don't need so much of these, this now, because Marie, hopefully, will be able to keep on top of some of that. We don't want to understock at all. Even if it costs us all our money, which is inevitable, apparently. I don't like it. <laughs> we have got a camp. I'm just feeling very... Yeah. In financial desperation, I struck a bargain with the ancient things that surfaced in search of sacrifice when the moon was right. Their price was the delivery of an obscure idol and one other item of more trouble important. The pact struck... My newfound accomplices slipped silently beneath the brackish water. A fearful stirring at the edge of the torchlight betrayed a familiar witness and gifted me with malign inspiration. Ominous. <laughs> I always wondered what became of the unfortunate little whiff. We have been blessed with a very direct route to the boss. Let us hope for the best. Now that I'm gonna I'm gonna keep using this wiki and you can all abuse me in the comments if you want to, but I'm just gonna make sure that I don't completely screw this up. If I can. I'd like to just progress in this game. Um stress heal Purge negative quirk. Interesting. Who's got the worst negative quirk? Don't really care about those. We've already got pretty bad bleed resist. Hadn't realised that. You know what? I think Marie is going to interact with this. Which involves this. Thin-blooded. That's exactly what we wanted, right? No. We've got anemic still. Still, that was a very baked-in quirk. So that was basically free. Well, that was almost literally free. Uh, a trap. Marie. Carelessness will find no Twelve rounds. Place. That escalated quickly. All right, just keep going. Start scouting, by the way. If you don't mind. Almost uneventful. 
Maybe we can get to the point where we're actually going to camp. Right, here's the son of a bitch that's going to beat the shit out of us if we're not careful. We need to bleed this. I mean, these two are bad enough, but this thing... Oh, actually. Now that we have anti-bleed, maybe we should get rid of the stress dealers. That's got so much dodge that Iron Swan is very unlikely. It's got a one in three chance of missing, which is just horrible. What's your uh, bleed resist? 80%. Alright, in that case we're going against this. Marie can do the damage to that unit. And or... Um, heal the damage this unit does. So over time this will, make a, this will stack up great. You have Holy Lance, which I'm actually okay with being there. Um, I mean, compared to the alternatives. Bulwark of Faith, brilliant. I think... Can we stun this? We might be able to stun this. What's our, our chance? 119 against 70, that's... Basically averages out to about 50%, which... Uh, or we can... Oh, it's Eldritch. Of course it's Eldritch. This thing needs to go. This thing can do so much damage to us, it's just unreal. Uh, maybe you can try and stun it instead. Uh, you can try and kill that. Yeah. Not quite, but it does have a bleed on it. Three damage. So that's dead. That's actually really good. Not too much stress there, which is okay. That thing didn't get a go. And this thing will, and it'll hurt. We do have Marie to try and heal us. Oh, a dodge. Okay, perfect. I mean, <laughs> feel free to do things that miss all the time. I have absolutely no problem with that whatsoever. Now, again, we're going to miss the shit out of this. Luckily, we didn't. And it does have a bleed on it now. So you're not, your time is numbered. It's not, actually, is it? It's got 8 HP left, and there's 3 left on it. We have not yet got the, op the requirement to heal, which is kind of a shame, because I know this thing's going to get a go and make it so that we do. But maybe we try and stun this or just bring it into death range? We got here. Three damage, so we need to do five. Which this will do, if it hits. Which is 50% chance that's not good enough. Oh, heck. Um, Try it. Ah. It, it wasn't good enough. I mean, I said it wasn't good enough. And I wasn't lying. I wasn't having you on or anything. It was definitely not good enough. This is doing well, though. We're bringing this thing down quite a lot. Very fast indeed. We're basically doing 20, 20 damage per round now. That was the thing I was afraid of, and luckily we avoided it. So you're basically dead. If we can figure out how to hit you, you're dead. But I can't, so... More stress damage until camp. Just hit <laughs> You're the only person who can actually hit it, and you're the Hellion. Which, when the Hellion is the one that can actually hit the thing... You know you're in a bit of a bad situation. The reason is, of course, um, Ed here can't hit past this because this is taking up two spaces, which is um, a bugger. Maybe we can stun it. What's our stun chance? 110. It's not as good as his, and we didn't use his. So I think we just um, keep trying to damage it. Of course, when um, when Doug gets a go, oh, 15, perfect. That actually went really, really well. That was one of the fights I was most afraid of. Um, and it turned out fine. We should open this. Why not? I know we didn't bring a key. Probably could have afforded a key, but that's not why we're here. And if you've watched previous episodes, which I assume you have, because this is episode like 62 by now, um, you should know that I tend to prefer to focus a boss mission on boss stuff and not take anything that brings us money. What do we do here? These are human. So we probably want to bleed out something. The bleed is 3 for 3. So our max roll on this is still not going to kill it. But then that's true of this as well. This is going to be harder to kill. Can we just hack it? We could do a lot of damage with a hack. We could Iron Swan and try and hit this. We could kill that. I think we try and do that. It was close. I mean, it was more than halfway up the, the damage rankings of that particular attack. This is not good. <laughs> don't, don't like these. <sighs> less dodge, less bleed resist on everybody. Wait, everyone got a different debuff? I'm very confused. I'm very confused, Ted. You took a lot of damage and yet still have plenty of HP left. You are on 
two per round. Do you think we just top everybody up? I think so. A crit. That crit undoes the other crit, which is great. Super happy with that. Dodge? No dodge. Low damage, but these debuffs are stacking up pretty badly. Oh, everyone's got uh, the negative dodge. Okay, my mistake. Uh, we will do the play grenade. This is why Marie is here. The Marie is here to get rid of some of these, of course, but doing that is also extremely valuable. Now, I think we just hit these. There is one unholy thing around here, but humans and spiders and things, they can show up in anything. Um, so, oh, that's bad. I guess your, your, your party has to basically be able to deal with that. Is this going to kill it? It could, but I don't like the odds, so I'm... I mean, never tell me the odds, right? But Why have you died like that? That's just strange. Okay, that one died and didn't leave a corpse. It was the back one, so it didn't matter that it didn't leave a corpse, but whatever. The only one that didn't dodge, you missed. Well done. Uh, you will Divine Grace yourself. 12. Brilliant. And don't forget we upgraded Zeki and nobody else. Um, but, but this is going okay. Um, famous last words, I suppose. We could kill this. We did kill this. So, perfect. It is now gone. We will not just blast... Can we disorient it? Yes. Should we? Yes. It did work. That's helpful. So now it's going to get a go. Now we can not just blast it. Which is actually really good. Because now it will actually get five more damage than it originally would have. We'll bleed out it. Oh. <laughs> just beat the shit out of it if you don't mind. Thank you very much. Yeah, this is going fine for once. Remind you will use one of those. Is a slow and These are going to... Oh, until camp is a problem. But the rest of them are fine. Okay. Keep going. We've done a lot of battles, considering we've only walked this far. Uh, I'm going to not deal with that, because the, probably the worst thing that we could end up with is having use the shovels that we need to get rid of blockages and then give ourselves a crap load of stress damage as a result. Okay. That was uneventful. No scouts yet. This could be a problem. Kill this very fast before it explodes. I don't want it to explode. Please don't explode. What does that do? A buff. Okay. We're okay with that. A dodge, I'm also okay with. Probably doesn't need me to... Uh, we don't need me to tell you that too much. Good. A lot of damage on that. You should... Heal yourself. I was tempted not to because the heal will... You know, it, it's a one-shot heal. It completely fills her up. Him, her, them, up. But... Oh. Okay. Um... It didn't seem like the right thing to do. This does, though. Just look. Death. We don't want that to explode. We've seen that happen. That was not good. Not good times. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> The, yeah, that heal I wasn't sure about. But I think it's probably... I erred on the side of keeping the healer alive, basically. Even if it was an overheal and it was yeah, too much. Uh, bleed out. Lots of damage. Debuffs us. Kills that. No problem. Happy with that. Oh, hello. Interesting. Uh... What do we want more of? Probably these. We have got a lot of food left, but we can still get a hunger, and we want to eat properly at camp, so I don't want to throw this away, just in case. Is one portrait worth less than six crests? I think no. I think we leave it. Don't mess with it. If it ain't broken, don't fix it. Fair enough. The anti-venom might actually be very useful. Not quite sure how the siren goes. I'm not going to look that up in the wiki. Um, believe me if you wish. This is default, yeah. Look. I'm very glad that you dodged it, but I'd rather you just sort of scouted it out in the first place. No? So much to ask. A handsome reward for a no, it's not handsome. Performed. Not only can I not take it. Very, very helpful. Oh, now you scout. Well, now we know which one of the two it is. It's actually this one, which I didn't expect. We didn't need any of the 
shovels. But what we can do is, if we actually succeed at this fight, which is looking likely, we can go back and try and pick up some more stuff. Um, yeah. Now we camp. Circle in the dark. The battle may yet be Everyone won. heal up. That's really good. The negative stress is useful. I'm hoping that Zeke doesn't flip out, because we did bring Zeke out on this mission already. Kind of stressed. Right. This might be useful. But what I kind of want to do is... Everyone's healed. I just want to make sure that Zeke doesn't go useless. Because if Zeke becomes useless, that's it. We're out. It's done. Um... Four, two, two. Remove a blight and remove a disease, not useful. Yeah, I think we start to encourage Zeke a little bit. So we do that twice. Then we can start doing the specific ones to... Like this, for example, is five. Now, how much is this? Three. Oh, that's perfect. So we'll do this, which reduces all stress damage. And now no one is stressed out. We've actually made profit on stress on this one. The sharpened spear, because Doug is our main damage dealer, ramp up the crit. I don't care. Right, no, no, uh, no ambush, please. The way is Hooray! The path is clear. Very pleased with this. So this is actually a uh, bit of a, it's very encouraging, because there's no combat between us and them. In fact, this might be worth drinking. Resistances. Maybe we put that on Zeke. Probably last rounds. So, or well, maybe it'll last combats. I don't know. But, oh yeah, portraits is nice. Um, I'm not really, I'm not really down with what this boss is about to throw at us. I'm pretty sure it brings people over to its side. So what we really want to be doing is maybe trying to. I'm sorry, I didn't, didn't realize you were talking there, uh, uh, Wayne, but. I'm thinking that maybe we try and bleed out first, and then we debuff ourselves. I don't know if that debuff will carry over when we get tempted over to this side, but that's a lot of damage. Very high crit chance, and a bleed. Do it. We debuff ourselves, that's fine. <laughs> we'll deal with that. So maybe we tempt someone over now? <laughs> Boobs. Yeah, okay. And it's the healer, so... When they get back... Oh, Struth. It's not that bad, but it's not brilliant, is it? Smite. Um, hopefully we won't need too much healing, because it's going to be at least one turn. Okay, that's an enemy who has shown up. I don't want to blight my own unit. I'm almost tempted to. Bleed, bleed. No bleed. Uh, why don't you... Wicked hack. Why don't you... If it bleeds... There's a chance it dies. Do we hit it? Not quite, but... We're going to keep doing this. That one will die eventually, so maybe it'll get, it'll get one turn. Who cares? Unless, uh, unless Ed goes first, which I did not. That's okay. That's some damage that I'm not a fan of. When do we get Zeke back, please? I mean, that's okay, too. This is dead. So, maybe we try... Just keep wailing away at the boss, I guess. Ooh. Not a good time to dodge. I guess that is probably the thing that's going to be our main problem. Zeke being in that position is not actually bad. And I think Marie is okay in this position because of the fact that she can still hit the boss with the plague grenades. Uh, that's not too bad, but don't forget I debuffed myself and I kind of did that on purpose. Um, thinking, basically, that we're going to want, you know, that <laughs> less damage just in case. I think I said it at the time, just in case it gets over there. Now this is a... Oh, it's not a problem. Okay. Here, die. Um, could have stunned. That might have been a good idea, actually. Maybe we'll think of doing that. Grievous Crit for two. Now, this is... It's going to start stacking up. But I think with as long as Zeke is here, we can we can tank that, basically. 
Yeah, that's that's fine. It's not a huge amount of damage at all. We'll do a party heal. That'll just keep on top of the bleed, I think. If we get to the situation where it's necessary, we could probably do a direct heal. But like, do we stun this? We can't. Ah. Just keep doing this. <laughs> as long as this boss eventually dies, we're fine, right? It's doing 15 damage a round, and that's going to get that twice per round. I assume. I've not actually checked. Ooh. That could be a problem. You didn't bring Barbaric Yelp. How are you allowed to do that? I call shenanigans. Yeah, 15 there. This is okay. We can keep on top of this. Um... I think I want a Divine Grace. Or we'll hope for a crit? I don't know. This is going to be a problem. If we get... If we get dug back now... Well, <laughs> still bad. I've forgotten that they would be at the back. I don't think we have the breakthrough that allows us to get to the front. That's bad. That's not good at all. We needed... <laughs> we need Marie. Marie's the only one doing any damage. Ha! resisted. Yeah, we can only move forward one. But we don't have it unlocked, I think. We don't. So, that would be great to have in future. So, for the record, more bleeds. But Zeke is still, there. She's still here with the party heal, so we're okay for now. I mean, these heals seem to be capped out. Four damage per round for three rounds, right? So, each round, if the boss does that, it goes back up to four damage around for three rounds, but it's not going to go beyond that. That's what I'm hoping. Oh my god! <laughs> 31! This is actually going extremely well. I was expecting the ruins to be the easiest mission, boss mission that we have, but in fact, this boss is dead. There's like one round left of this boss. Shocker! Not before you've at least taken me out for dinner. I uh, honestly. Go. Oh, you didn't. Even better. Ah, <laughs> you can do that from there. But there's no point, so move. I'd rather you were in a position to get rid of this unit. Can't believe this has gone so well. For saying how badly all the other ones have gone, with parties that I would expect to be capable of dealing with it, like this party. All of our parties that we've taken, except for the start of the last episode, all the parties I've taken so far, I would have expected to be able to do enough damage to get through the battles that have actually caused them to run away and actually killed Mr. Steve. But it just seems that we're cut out for this party, and we always have been. Perfect. You know, Doug's always been really well appointed. These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can uh... be beaten. I will continue. You know, the, the stuff that we've got from these people is, is crazy. Um, I want to go and open that chest, basically. Let's, uh, let's get our default party order back. There we go. Mr. I can't believe Ed's still alive, of all people. The... The trinkets that we got for Hellions has actually turned out to be really valuable because those bleeds, they weren't massive, but they were certainly not insignificant. And we've actually come back on a successful mission for once, which has given me a lot more confidence, let alone the people who went out with now less stress than they started with. And of course, they're going to be leveled up as a result. Uh, you get a little bit more stress from wandering around here, but it's still not the sort of thing that I'd want to put them in for treatment for. So we'll go to open this. We'll use this. We'll see what we get out of it. Get some cash. Could the flow Let's get rid of that and take that. What did I just get rid of? Torches. Good. <laughs> Something in the back of my mind said we just got rid of busts, but we didn't. Success! We came back with all the money, all the heirlooms, a new thing for the Jester, which I still don't really understand as a character class. Um, we've got three new level, three new level fives and a new level four. So Zeke has actually leveled up to where I wanted him to level up to. Maria's come back with a disease, but 
that's okay. We don't actually really use heal skills while camping, so I'm not worried about that. More damage versus beast and less stress damage versus beast. More damage versus human. Sainthood. Okay. Mm, Doug is still as, you know, virtuous as ever. That was a really good, um, really good run. I have to be honest. Interest. Just checking I was actually recording it because it would have been the worst thing in the world if the first time I'd done anything right. Yeah, Miria's leveled up to six, somehow. <laughs> Snorlin's now level five. And presumably Immodism is level three, which is actually what I wanted. I wanted Immodism to be level three, but of course we've really got still 9,000 gold left after all of that. So, what do we do next? We have a lot of level fives and some level three bosses left to beat. Our level 3 units are not really in a position to do anything about it. And we are uh, level 4, sorry. And we are completely incapable of getting through the ruins without stressing out completely. Is it because of these? No. So you're gonna chill out in there. Right, Blindness, the 2002 David Gray classic. It's fine. Why? <laughs> Why? That's not going to help. This is going to be the cheaper one, isn't it? Psycho, you suck. <laughs> I'm sorry to say it, but that's how it is. We could try and get Viz up to level 4, or just take him out on level 3 mission for the boss. Because if we're going to be taking Pete as the healer, then we can take Viz. So we should put Viz in for some treatment there. So Pete, Viz, uh, I mean I do want to maybe bring Viz out but he can't hit the back. It's going to be basically impossible for the Prophet because we have to hit the back. We're starting to play ourselves into a corner here which is getting worse and worse and honestly I think the only way out of it is for people to die. <laughs> as, as, uh, as macabre as it may seem, people need to die. We can only throw a dagger, which I think worked really well last time, actually. Uh, in fact, if we took that and a unit that marks... So, this can't hit the back. Pete's going to be the healer. We don't have a bounty hunter at this level yet. But we can try and get maybe Megistos as well. And a bounty hunter who has a decent amount of HP because we need to think about the HP. Um, because we need to get people under the falling rocks. So maybe DT or Vague. Now, DT doesn't have any stress at all, but we need to level him up. After which he will obviously be stressed as shit because that seems to be how it works. Let's, um, let's chill Holmesy out. She's not allowed to gamble, but she can drink. Oh, she will only gamble. No. More money. We'll only pray. Okay, fair enough. So it doesn't matter about the gambling quirk because of the prayer quirk. Knowing my luck, if Holmesy ever gets a quirk removed, it'll be the one that literally has no value against her. And this, can we now upgrade? No, we need a buttload more of those. It's a shame. More Hellions. Eh, not too, not too concerned about those. Well, if we can get home... <laughs> We can get Homesy de-stressed, which is what I want to do. And we've got a decent party to take to at least another mission, which we can check out now if you want to. Sure, why not? Here's a level 5 mission. That's interesting. Never done that before. That's going to be scary. Uh, there is one. A veteran mission. Which we can take Megistos on. Let's, let's look at this. Megistos in the front. Yeah. We want Megistos to be upgraded. We want DT to be upgraded. Second position is fine. Uh, Adam can't really go out, but I don't want to spend the money on putting him in for any treatment at the moment, so we're going to have to leave him as it is, but you're going to be okay in the third position, and you're going to be even better in the third position. So, Martinez, you are slightly better than Erasmus at everything that you do. And then we just need, like, anything else. <laughs> a healer, basically. We need a healer. We can't take Zeke, unfortunately. That's a bit of a problem, actually. We don't have a healer down here. I mean, we could start dismissing people, but I've put so much effort into them. I know it's a bit of the sunk cost fallacy, but at the same time, it's going to be the future cost you know, logic. It's not a fallacy. We need money 
to upgrade someone who we bring in later and we can't currently upgrade stagecoach without more of these which is right here uh i mean maybe we just try and take a dps heavy run it's only explore but it is explore the warrens there's also a level five yeah what's this then also level five it looks like a completely different color but okay um we could also go to the cove again Gather three ancestors' relics, which will obviously take up inventory space and not allow us to bring back as much stuff as we'd like. <sighs> Can't really take Penelope because two moving around type units is going to be pretty bad for our continued health. You can solo, which moves you to the front, and Finale, which moves you back. Can't do anything else really except for that. Or we could just try and take Sagiris. <laughs> we probably won't even want to go. Uh, didn't say no. I'd like to take Dutch. Hmm, we can't take anyone else. Well, this is interesting. We did okay in the cove because we have such a good healer, I think. So we should, we should do the Warrens. Definitely do the Warrens. Well, I guess in the next episode we'll figure out what we're doing with this pre this final slot here. And we might go for this Warrens run, but honestly I have no idea. I just don't know what to do now. We've we've had one success, but now everybody's in for treatment and we just can't can't do anything about it. Unless we just immediately camp and send people like try and get rid of a lot of problems with people. But I guess that's for the next episode. As for this episode, that's the end of it. Thank you for watching and putting up with my rambling at the end of it all. I do hope you'll join me for the next episode, wherein magic stuff will be amazing. Or maybe we'll just do a level 5 mission and <laughs> just see how horribly horrible that can turn out to be. But, again, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.